drama been drama all drama nyar drama side drama mto drama zote pamoja ay 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 the heat the political heat in kenya is overbearing i think that's the only way i can describe it with persistent reports that the venezuelans are back in the country hold at our hotel belonging to one evans kidero yeah working on the server which server the server carrying the real presidential results with those reports coming out persistent you know when there's a persistent rumor my experience tells me mali kuna moshi hapakosi moto if the smoke somewhere you can be sure there is a fire somewhere smoldering okay and you see there's something which is happening and unfolding in this whole drama which many people have not been able to see and it is the following things are piling up things are piling up which means pressure is piling up on the UDA government now we all know that the rules of science the rules of the spiritual are very clear pressure cannot continue forever Mm-mm. it will reach a point where the pressure will be too much and something will happen now you know the whole of the uda government is being held up is being propped up by something called a secret okay and what is that secret that secret are the contents of the server carrying the real presidential results now i know uda has many other challenges but that is where the real crux of the matter is believe it or not it has become increasingly clear to the entire world that everything hinges on the secrets that are in that server because as many have said if indeed it is true that william samoy ruto won the elections what is all this business of going round in circles or oh, i have no authority to open the server or oh, it's only the iebc an independent body etc etc yeah trying to take kenyans for fools because in case you didn't know the president has the authority to reveal any hidden thing under the sun within the borders of the republic of kenya that is the truth the president has the power to have those servers opened in seconds okay but the story kenyans have been fed i don't know how these people think i don't know if they think kenya is still in the 90s yeah unajua kuna wakenya wengi sana wamesoma ndio wengi wamesoma mpaka wakakoa jinga lakini si wajinga kabisa kuna vitu wanajua that is the truth because the initial story was the servers were opened not true it's a lie you cannot open the door to the balcony leading to a bedroom which is firmly shut and then you turn around and you say i've given full access to the house you see the person is inside the house you can't do that fellow kenyans the servers have never been opened and then when that one didn't fly we were told ud has got no authority the president has got no authority to get those servers open another lie so it is in this kind of environment that we are now being told the venezuelans are here and to be very honest with you it doesn't matter whether that is true or not 
what is happening here is that the pressure is increasing on the server to be opened because the entire UDA government stands rests on those servers and remember all this is happening when evidence is popping up all over the place that it is highly unlikely that Buonaruto won those elections highly unlikely because how do you explain the multitudes who have come out protesting how do you explain the absence of his millions of supporters according to the results were given yeah where are they and if you thought the UDA government has problems <laughs> enough problems with the server then you'd be wrong because now we come to the economy yeah? David D the chief economic advisor of President Ruto has spoken very bluntly he has said that he has seen a lot of wastage in government in fact he says he sees it daily but here's the kicker what really finishes him finishes D yeah, I'm paraphrasing what he has said is how deliberate this wastage is what now I don't know if Dr. David D knows that this is a very wrong time to make such a revelation why because many public servants have still not been paid their salaries so you come out with such a statement about waste spending carelessly by the government and you're the chief economic advisor of course you don't sign the checks you don't authorize payments yeah but you're the chief economic advisor and therefore you are an insider you come out and you issue such a statement how do you think those Kenyans who have not been paid are feeling what do you think their reaction to that would be because money is sensitive I mean if you understand humans how do you expect those public servants to react and respond yeah hundreds of thousands of them across the country and you're not even counting those who work for counties folks the pressure is mounting and it is very clear that the UDA government will not be able to withstand this pressure for much longer and then when all this is going down people have asked me about the talks between Ruto's people and Raila's people Azimio and the government the bipartisan talks yeah, centered on legislators people have asked me that question and it becomes very difficult for me to answer it why because these are the strangest peace talks I have ever seen in all my life they don't make sense does it make sense to you when you have said you want to make peace and then you go out and you make very inflammatory statements against the other side does that make sense to you does it make sense after you say you want peace to go out there and tell people these people are looking for handshake and I can assure them and I can reconfirm that there will be no handshake is that how you talk when people are supposed to be negotiating talking peace <laughs> folks please help me I am very confused about these so-called peace talks it is still a deep mystery to me and therefore it is not a surprise that one of the people picked on the Azimio side to represent Azimio in these talks Senator Ledama Olekina has come out and said the lack of seriousness on the Kenya Kwanzaa side is the last straw that broke the camel's back 
Bottom line, Azimua going back to street protests. That is precisely what Ledama Olekina tweeted earlier today. And I'm sorry, I cannot pretend to be shocked because I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. Indeed, I expected a statement like that much earlier on. Maybe my shock and surprise is that it has come out this late. Yeah, because these peace talks don't make sense. So, where does that leave the nation called Kenya? Well, there is only one way to describe the situation in our country right now. It is a mess. A total mess. And who's going to sort out this mess? Nobody. Bottom line, Kenyans are on their own. Ni wa Kenya na mungu wao. Period. Now before I go, let me address a question too many people have asked me on email. And I believe it is a question on many people's minds. And the question is, is it possible to interfere with the servers in such a way that the real results are masked by fake results? Is it possible to alter things in the server? The simple answer to that question is no. Not without leaving traces of evidence that things were changed. However, I am told it is possible to do it in such a way that getting that evidence that things were changed may not be very easy. But in my opinion, that is not a very major issue. Why? Because there was an audit of the server with the presidential results and that is precisely where the whistleblower got the information from. And so I guess even if somebody makes changes, it would be very difficult to sell the idea that that changed server are the real results. That one would be very, very difficult considering all the other alternate evidence, including the audit of the very same server it would be very difficult to take Kenyans on a ride on that one. But you see, the UDA government will not give up. Which raises the issue that it would seem the assumption within UDA is that Kenyans can be fooled. It is possible to fool Kenyans. And the way some politicians are behaving, it is very easy to fool Kenyans. Now, I don't agree with any of those statements, but let's wait and see how this develops. Now, some good news. If you missed out on my Easter offer, it is still on as I finalize on my next WIB, number 105, which should be ready at any time. So, you still have a small window of opportunity. So, my advice is take full advantage of it. Now, I believe details have been on your screen. Yeah, over the last few seconds, or is it minutes? Yeah, I'm sure you can see them. Grab this opportunity. Now, I intend to do a more detailed video focusing on some very worrying trend yeah, that has emerged. I hope to do that video in the next few hours. So, please look out for it. Yeah because the heat is getting unbearable. The political heat in the country called Kenya. Until next time, this is Chris Kumekucha.